Pero vamos a ver, language arts. How many of you all have kids who've gone through elementary school? And what did you get? Report card, language arts. Whatever grade they would get, it was there, language arts. But that's all it said, language arts. Sometimes it might go into reading something else, but it was language arts. What is language arts? Reading, writing, spelling, spelling okay, composition. composition, everything. I looked up language arts in Spanish. Y si me apareció, artes de lenguaje y artículos, artes de lenguaje, todos eran de Estados Unidos. ¿Qué nos dice? ¿Se considera language arts como algo universal? Lo vemos por separado un poco, ¿verdad? Aquí es donde tenemos ese concepto, pero es el concepto con el que van a venir nuestros estudiantes. Entonces, no le vamos a imponer lo que nosotros pensamos, sino lo que ellos traen. Es con lo que tenemos que trabajar. ¿Cuántos estudiaron language arts? Oh, no me digan, es una mentira si me dicen que no estudiaron language arts, si estudiaron aquí alguna vez. Todos, todos pasamos por ello. Pero vamos a ver, este, ¿cuándo fue la última vez que estudiaron language arts? ¿Eh? Y casi siempre lo relegamos a la primaria. Y luego para cuando llegan a middle school los estudiantes, ya todo lo que aprenden, porque lo aprenden. They learn what an adjective is. They learn what a clause is. They learn all of that. They learn it all for at least five years. ¿Eh? They get to middle school. And it's kind of getting lost. Why? Because in the 80s and 90s, it was, the idea was that grammar was taught in context, which is very good. Well, what did that mean for a lot of teachers? They threw it out the window. The kids will pick it up. But then you try to explain things to them. And by the time we get them at the university level, and we're doing it for second language acquisition, hablamos de los adjetivos de los verbos, pss, pss, y empezamos a enseñar gramática en inglés. Y muchos estudiantes les van a decir, this is the first time I've ever studied grammar, and I tell them it's not true. I've seen the elementary books, but they don't remember. Eh? But they do have something with which they work with. Now, what happens to a lot of our heritage learners? They come in later. They come in perhaps to middle school. They come into high school. So they're not getting that anymore. So we're, here is where we're starting to pick up a different population. And here's where the first time when I was teaching the advanced grammar and composition, it would really hurt me, eh? Because I had my heritage speakers coming in to advanced grammar and composition. They didn't understand half of the things I was saying. They didn't have the vocabulary to discuss the language.